all. So I made the movie because I realized that I've had this argument with Spike Lee over and over again. He says, you know, if you're black, you can't be racist because racism is economic. I said, you're full of crap. You know, you're either prejudiced. If you're black, you can be prejudiced and hate white people. You're wrong. If you're white and hate black people or anyone who you don't understand, you're wrong. And so I made this film as a way of showing people that no matter who you are, if you're a hater, you're a hater. And, and even though things have happened, and I made this analogy last night, um, saw a film in New York called Defiance about um, uh, the Bellitz brothers who went into the forest in Lithuania when the Hitler regime took over Europe. And it's a phenomenal story made by Ed Zwick and a wonderful film. Um, you know, horrible things have happened to groups of people. And the Jews were decimated by Hitler. And I always think that what makes you as a black human being have anything more or or over on any other group of human beings who have been killed and persecuted because of what they believe. At some point, you have to be released from that to move forward into a new world of change. Not to say that you should ever forget what has happened, but to facilitate healing is a choice. It's a choice that we make every day that we live. To be whole inside is that choice. And you can either be angry all your life because of slavery, or you can choose to change other people around and choose to live in a, in a, in a, a light space, knowing that what happened has happened, not forgetting it, honoring that you understand it, but choosing to move people forward from it. It's the only way we're gonna, we're gonna be human beings as a whole and complete. Because there was a song many years ago that, that affected me I think it was, I forget the, the new artist who came out with it, but we're all in this together. And as long as we hold on to the hate, anger, pain of the past, we can't move to the future with a very clean heart or consciousness or being. We're always holding something inside of us that says, I can't trust you because your people hurt my people. And that's, that's an insecure and a fearful way to go through life. I believe, yes.